good. I was not even recording, so you don't have to fucking worry about that. But you do have to worry about is saying hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of To Be Released. I'm here with Zenra. Okay, Zen- I don't know if that was push to talk, but I'm here. <laughs> hello. Hello. Yeah, that wasn't push to talk. I don't believe in push and talk. And I'm also here with Josh, aka Ignit, aka Ignit Vegeta. He's our guest today. Hello. I don't know what to call you because you have many names. Uh, uh, anything's fine. Just it's call with me Josh if you internet. want. <laughs> uh, Zen streaming, so he's gonna occasionally be talking about uh, weird things about why things aren't working or why he can't hear me or Josh correctly. <laughs> so this is gonna be a real fun episode today. <laughs> it's gonna be the. <laughs> I'm hearing you just fine right now. All right, perfect. Well, so it's the first of everything. Late. I'll just randomly cut out, and I'll just immediately start speaking and filling airtime. So <laughs> perfect. Um, for those of you who don't know, Josh, Josh is a up new up and comer YouTuber in the, the 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 lucrative field of I think only covering Attack on Titan, <laughs> a tactics game, yeah. and I think an SAO game. Uh, one of yeah, them. Pretty much. Uh, the Rising Steel should be coming out soon. I'll be making videos on that. Yes, he's so, unless he, but, it comes out to be trash. <laughs> well, well, whichever one that happens but he's brand new he already has surpassed me even though i've been doing this for two plus years <laughs> he already has double what i have so look out for him he's a great that's the difference between covering attack on titan and captain subasa this is different <laughs> audience <laughs> whatever yeah, when... i focused on one game so i had like a huge advantage there i choose to have an octopus's garden worth of mobile games and regular games to cover and at the same time <laughs> Uh, but he's here to join us. So, of course, with uh, Zenrot being so focused on Pitter Patter Pop, you being on Attack on Titan, and me now kind of being Dragalia, we're the perfect team to tackle Dokkan. Exactly. <laughs> Yes, we're, the dream team. We're like we're like the 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 <laughs> to be team. Fair though, I think that we do all have it all installed, which is a lot better than most of the episodes of the show. It's true. So <laughs> we're kind of yeah. like. Do you remember that picture at the end of World War Two when the three big when Russia <laughs> when, Chir- when, Chir- when when it was Churchill, Roosevelt, and Stalin were all together sitting down? <laughs> That's us, and the, and the destroyed Germany is Dokkan. <laughs> <laughs> So let's so get you're into... saying this, this episode is the Berlin Wall of Dokkan Battle? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is exactly that. So, oh, it's so better when we have a ghost, uh, a ghost, when we have a guest that thinks we're funny. It's so much better. All right, let's get into today's episode. Today on the Big Boy Scale, uh, Josh already knows how this show works because he's a big old fan of it. Uh, today's big boy is going to be none other than, for the first time, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku, a.k.a. Super Saiyan Blue Goku, who is also the Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, but in Dokkan, there's no distinction for them for some dumbass reason. Yeah. Yeah, I don't G-S-S-K-K. know. Yes. Uh, he got an Extreme Z Awakening, meaning for the first time since a week after his release, he's finally usable again. So let's <laughs> So let's get into what he does. We'll start with Super Attack because this part's important. He greatly raises attack and causes immense damage to enemy wide while sacrificing 5% HP. The greatly raised attack, I believe, is 50% up in terms of attack. Yeah, it's 50%. If I'm wrong, someone on the stream side will probably correct me, but I'm not looking at that. Because... That is correct, but I uh, guess we'll find out. Yeah. Yeah, we'll find out in the comments. Yeah, we'll find out. <laughs> And his passive stream skill... says accurate, so... Alright, thank you, thank you, stream. Already doing due diligence. <laughs> his passive skill is attack and defense 59% up, plus an additional attack and defense 59% up for 10 turns from the start of the turn. And attack 59% and perform a critical hit after the ninth turn at the start of battle once only. Uh, this is a great change from when, what was it? It was like 2,000 attack and defense for it 10 was, turns. Uh, 20... 20... Thousand attack and like ten thousand defense for ten turns. It yeah. was awful. Yeah, the I'm I'm real glad Dokkan has almost started to learn that those type of passes are basically butt cheeks. Except for they still give it to Prime mm-hmm. Battle LRs because fuck you, they're free and they're the most annoying character to grind <laughs> for. So we're gonna make them as shitty as possible. Uh, yeah. And then, yeah. 
Uh, his categories are Realm of Gods, Pure Saints, Full Power, Represents uh, Universe 7, Goku's Family, Kamehameha, and Master Student Bond. And I believe after this easy A, he's basically fits into every single category that you can fit him on because holy shit, he's so good. <laughs> he's he's a really monster good. now, dude. <laughs> it's really the dumb. Way, the way he's set up is so good. Yeah, the, the in terms of easy A's, some uh, some people are gonna uh, in terms of top easy A's, making a unit from what he once was to what he is now, he basically surpassed what he was supposed to be. I want to say that this passive skill actually makes him what he's supposed to be, uh, what they were going for in the beginning. And I think this is probably one of the best easy A's. Easily, like people will go to Janemba, I... but in terms of favorite, I'm gonna go with this one. Just because he's so dumb in I'd terms of damage. I'd personally put him. In... I'm sorry. I'd jo- personally put him at least number three, if not number two, because he's just really ridiculous the way this unit's set up. Yeah, and this is also still the only Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken unit that we've ever received in Dokkan, which is kind of nuts when you think about all the pans we have. That this <laughs> that, that that we have so many pans and yet we can't. Get... <laughs> <laughs> you think they'd have milked him a lot more than they have, to be honest, because he definitely can be a big money maker for. I don't I mean, know what to do. Anybody know... is a money maker, and dude, it doesn't matter. Dokkan releases yeah, like true. some bullshit, and it hits. It, it, it'll hit number two instead of number one. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't <laughs> fucking matter. Yeah, they can release basically anything Former they shot, want. Dude. Uh, it's crazy. I still re- do. You remember? This, this is going way back. We actually did a modcast when, because this is around the era we've gone full Ouroboros when we released him, and I remember there being like a huge hype around him because that was this was the the first new form to actually come to Super, right? Technically speaking, after because they did the whole. Um... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So people were like he... around him because one, three days after Go Tanks. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he literally came out, like, the next day. <laughs> it was so bad. Like, Gotenks came out, and then the next day in the news, boom, Super Saiyan Blue, Kyle Kid, Goku. Gotenks Stop came out, everybody bitches. spent a shit ton of stones on him, and then the next morning, Kaioken was in the fucking news. And then <laughs> came out, like, really close to when he came out in the show. Yes, yeah, they did it like with the up. anime. I, I want to say they've done that with a whole bunch of their you know, the, So a lot of people want Super to return. If for my wallet's sake, I really hope they don't do it for a while because I forgot that Doka does that where they literally <laughs> plan releases around. It's like, you just saw him? Well, congratulations. Here's this brand new unit right now. <laughs> Fuck our schedule. Yeah, they've, done it. they've done it with Super Saiyan Blue Kyle Ken. Uh, Super Saiyan Blue Vegito, I believe Ultra Instinct, they released them the same night. The episode. Yeah, Ultra Instinct and, and Jiren, I think, were like the yeah. same night. Yeah, it, they do some craziness. Yeah, so I don't want to hear Legends players complaining about having to go a week with a new banner, and then when we had to go three days and peak Dokkan scumminess. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, this is this unit now. At the let's see, how are we feeling for the big boy? I want to say the only thing that's negative about him is that he still keeps the same super attack, and his tur art isn't the greatest. Those are like the only two negatives I could ever say about him. Yeah, he should have gotten a better animated super. They should just start every easy A should also just fucking reanimate the super attacks for God's yeah. sake. They've already easy A the animations for Super Saiyan to Gohan LR. They may as well start going back and stop. <laughs> Especially because it's a bummer because a lot of these EZA units are really good and over half of them have the generic Kamehameha. And it's really jarring when you have someone like (laughs) Future Gohan who's like doing flippy dippy shit and launching a Kamehameha, like launching a blast with a full on, a full face shot and then you switch to this guy who's just like Kamehameha and it's over in two seconds and that's it. (laughs) The only only special thing about it is that it's like, it's like super it compared to the other Kamehameha's so where it like blows off the earth. That's the only That's the only thing. What a different time. Uh, and now of course <laughs> because now that he's super good I expect an LR in about a week because that's the way Dokkan rolls sometimes. <laughs> yeah. I think they did a Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I think the LR came out like a week or two late. After they made Super Saiyan 3 Goku so good they were like oh my god this is uh this is so good of you Dokkan. i can't believe you did this and then it took a week and they're like oh this is why you did this and also this new lr completely invalidates <laughs> the new good <laughs> agility one 
Thank you, I guess, for giving us that week. Uh, but yeah, how do you feel for him on the big boy scale? I'm going to let us start with the host. Oh, not with the host. With the guest. Go <laughs> ahead, Josh. What are you feeling on the big I'm boy scale? Of the host. Well, I'm going to I'm going to be, actually take this seriously because the thing with him is it, uh, beforehand his past would like run off whatever, like current events and stuff. Now he's like super strong throughout the entire fight, right? Because he has that pass, so it still has a turn base on it, but he also greatly greatly raises his attack. So he's still going to be doing like 4 million damage after his passive wears off because he's stacking his attack throughout the whole fight. And mm-hmm. then he also has the HP loss, which I'm glad they kept because personally, everyone else complains about it. But I like it because it helps you get the transformations off a lot easier because you just like everything's taking so hard. Having that 5% loss on there is very, very helpful. Yeah. In some but, in some like, fights, overall, he will do he will deal more damage to you than the enemy will. That's just <laughs> that's just the long yeah. and short of how <laughs> Dokkan is. Yeah, but I'm going to be like over exaggerated give him like a 20 out of 5 because he's so good he's like my favorite unit in the game right now he is super good all right 20 out of 5 I, I can respect episode and he's, he's going straight to 20 out of 5 <laughs> <laughs> all right For he God's really sake. He, he really does watch the show Zen, how, how are you feeling yeah, he, he, <laughs> that's how you know he's a fan <laughs> um if his super attack wasn't garbage um Go... 10 out of 5. Sorry, sorry, say it again. Uh, I'm going 10 out of 5 on that one. 10 out of 5? And that's about how I'm feeling too. 10 out of 5. I think he's a fantastic unit. And uh, again, the only bummers is the super attack and the kind of middling art. But other than that, fantastic. So we add that all together. Uh, with Josh's 20 out of 5, with your 10 out of 5, and my 10 out of 5, that is a 40 out of 5 on the big boy scale. <laughs> Whopping 40 out of 5. Absolute monster. Absolute monster. Fantastic. Uh, I'm also going to do a quick side tangent, because now one more person, we're actually going to put him on the big boy scale. Uh, we're going to put on... Um, the the other technically easy aid unit which is the easy aid trunks i'm not gonna say what he does i'm just gonna say how dare fucking dokkan release a shitty easy a with the shittiest way to grind easy a metals and consider that a job well done <laughs> uh, i legitimately did yeah, the, the in trunks that started off with an SR is now finally, I guess, easy aid. The easy aid nobody wanted for an easy aid area that is nobody wants either. I'm going to go, uh, not even saying what he does, I'm just going to give him a big old fat negative 10 out of 5 on the big boy scale for me. <laughs> what a waste of everything. <laughs> out of everyone's time, out of a waste of someone having to create a passive. Everything about it was bad. How do you feel about this unit that I've only shit on, but that's all I feel like talking about for him? Hello? Did I lose? Oh, wait, who's going first? <laughs> oh, my, I, oh, yeah, I forgot. I had to say it's Josh. We why don't you tell order. us? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Now that it's just not me and Zen, I have to actually pick an order. <laughs> Josh, how are uh... you feeling? <laughs> uh, well, I don't know. I've only seen like two minutes of footage for this breaks that I've seen, and he just is this trunks. No one cares about him. Just negative ten billion out of five. I don't know. All right, All he's right. really bad. But what? I... Uh, what? What are you feeling, Zen? <laughs> Didn't even fucking know he existed. One, <laughs> one out of five. All right, <laughs> the only one to give an actual rating. <laughs> Okay, so that brings uh, the brand new Easy A in trunks at a scale of, let's see, I believe that is negative 10 billion and 9 when you combine your negative 10 billion, my negative 10, and your 1. Officially the lowest on the big boy scale. Yeah, officially the lowest, and I'm going to say that the effect he's having is the easy area effect, which applies to all shitty units who have to be farmed for easy A area. All right. Now with that out of the way, <laughs> it's time. Finally, time. I was gonna say finally mine. It's finally time for some questions. Uh, again, if you have any questions, wait for me to throw up a, a Twitter thread. We will take at the end of this all. If we have uh, some time, we will gladly take some from the stream that Zen finds. If he finds any, 
Uh, but first, let's start with the YouTube questions. We'll start with um, Appa, uh, a regular on the YouTube questions. He asks, uh, first of all, he says, actually, I'm from Australia, not England, but it's quite easy to make that mistake. I knew I made that mistake the second I said it because I said, oh, he could be from anywhere <laughs> from <laughs> that's vaguely European to me that is uh, not from America. So <laughs> that's my bad on that one. <laughs> Uh, his question for this week is, uh, it's a non dokon question, which I hope is okay. I just finished WWE's latest pay-per-view, Hell in a Cell. What is the worst ending that you have ever seen in media? <laughs> I'll say that oh, one. Boy. That one's pretty up there for me. Um, there are worse endings. Actually, I'll, I'll start with this one while I give you guys time to think. This is another one that's uh, wrestling related. It is not WWE related, though. This happened on TNA with the former. It was the end of, I want to say, Sacrifice Way? Something like that. I forget the name of the pay-per-views for TNA. But anyway, it was suppo- the main event was supposed to be Sting versus Jeff Hardy. Um, and Jeff Hardy showed up extremely drunk. He was unable to wrestle at all. The match started and Sting quickly realized I'm wrestling with a drunk man and the match ended, I think, a minute later. And it basically ended with the crowd saying, this is bullshit. And then Sting going, yeah, you're right. This was bullshit as he walks away. And I think he left the company and went into rehab right afterwards. (laughs) And it's uh, probably one of the worst endings to a match. And also one of this, a constant reminder that I wish Jeff Hardy would uh, find help for himself. (laughs) Because uh, he gets into that a lot, unfortunately. Uh, there's that one, and then there's another. This is another wrestling one. While well, I give you some more time to think about what your worst endings are, uh, the, someone hired Jake the Snake to end for the wrestling event, and Jake the Snake also showed up drunk. And then that ended with him taking off his pants as they quickly cut away to say the pay per view is over. <laughs> so, as a drunk wrestling man hugging his snake, taking off his pants, that's how that uh, entire main event ended. And I'll say those are two of the worst endings I can think of. How about you, Zen? How do you? Which one? Which one are you gonna go with? This is my worst ending of anything. Yeah, in anything, in any media. Okay, because if it's wrestling, I have nothing. No, no. Um, anything is hard. Um, does Slumdog Millionaire count? Because I for the whole movie. So like, <laughs> it has to be really bad. Yeah, I think that's fair. Again, it's up to you if you. Oh, I'm pretty sure it breaks out into song at the end, so I'm gonna put that as the ending anyway. That's fine. All right. <laughs> to be fair, that's how all Bollywood movies end, <laughs> is with uh, the <laughs> full-on uh, dance sequence. Um, Josh, what are you feeling? Uh, first, I just want to point out we completely skipped the uh, Go Takes Easy A. <laughs> Oh no, we're not going for that one. We don't do more than two big oh, boys okay. on a, at a at a time. Otherwise, uh, we and Zen would die from the Dokkan overdose. <laughs> all right, my bad. It's all good. Uh, worst ending. Um, I'm just going to predict the future. Say the Attack of Titan ending is going to be trash. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like no matter how it ends, it's so everyone's going to be mad no matter what because they have to like kill everyone or something. I don't know. I yeah. feel like Attack of Titan is going to end very. It's the it's the uh, Game of Thrones ending where there's no actual ending that will satisfy yeah. everyone. I can see that. Yeah, it's just like every, everything's gonna be good. It's like the very very last, and if that doesn't count, I'll probably say Death Note. I don't just like the entire oh, second half of Death Note. Fuck. <laughs> that, that I would say throw out a two thirds on Death Note. I don't know if you consider all of the ending of Death. <laughs> when does ending begin? Is that after the uh, the passing of the main <laughs> rival? Because then I would consider that a terrible ending for Death Note. Yeah, Let, let's let's go with that because that scene made me cry. And I'm, <laughs> I still hate it to this day. All right, fair enough. That's a good one. I I completely forgot. That's actually kind of how bad I sometimes forget about. As much as I love Death Note, <laughs> I choose to forget a lot of what happens at Death Note near the end. Uh, yeah, right. it, it's very forgettable. Yeah. Uh, let's go with the the second YouTube question we got here. Uh, let's see. This one is from Kenny S. He asks, question for next episode. If you're less sick, can you do your Kermit the impression? And I also think we got a good number of questions also asking me to try and do my Kermit the Frog impression. Uh, which is unfortunate because I wish my brother was actually here in the house because I I don't think I can do peak Kermit if he's not here talking to me (laughs) as we both try and do the the Kermit the Frog. So I'm going to try and do Kermit. All right. 
Let me see if I can get into the right headspace. Okay, let's see. I'm terribly overworked. I'm I'm being with a bunch of assholes. They're not doing their job. No, I I literally can't. I think I need my brother here. <laughs> I can't do Kermit the Frog if my brother's not here. <laughs> I tried. I, I really did. I was about to go, hmm. But no, I can't do it if my brother's my not here with me. I'm so my sorry. I'm really... I give stuff up and everything. I know. I was I was really trying. I, I, don't, I don't think I can do a Kermit that's worthy of everyone. You know what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a, um, a Muppets game with my brother. And in that game, you'll hear us do Kermit the Frog, I promise. But that's really the only way. If he's not here, I don't think I can do it. I'm sorry for everyone that was looking forward to Kermit the Frog. Uh, all right. Now let's finally get into some Twitter questions. Uh, this is from Kaze, who says, Did Joe call? And this is a reference to the picture my sister said, which I now understand is a Joe Mama thing. Both me and Zen did not pick oh, no. up that it was a Joe Mama <laughs> but now we know thank you very much for the statement really and also joe did not call i don't know anyone named joe unfortunately uh next question comes in from nighthawk who asked what do you think are the new big three of shonen i'm gonna assume shonen oh. jump because big three is only related to shonen jump right that's what they mean uh, okay now big three has to actually mean sales wise so that means only Z well, actually oh, knows, no right? i I think it's I've, impact, I've, isn't it? I've talked to Zen about oh, this it's before. Sales, it's... But sales, but that question makes no sense if he's asking who are the best three selling manga right now, because he could just Google that. So I'm pretty sure he means what are your three favorites. So yeah. this is the thing that's always bothered me with Big Three is that when people use Big Three, they mean they use it Big Three has always meant that financially these were the biggest three, but for people it's taken on this thing of like, no, the big three because they're they're the best, which is you know, debatable by a lot of people, but that's not the original intent of what Big Three meant. So it feels weird to me. I remember, to use I, it thought, uh, I, remember I thought Dragon Ball Z was <laughs> Big Three, and Zen just like absolutely roasted me on Twitter for it. Oh my god! Everybody says Dragon Ball <laughs> is Big Three. It's so fucking annoying. It's was, I know so... Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece, and that's all it ever is for the modern day, right? <laughs> I mean, no, that the term that term only means those three. The oh, ones okay. before it were the Golden Trio. Oh, okay, Big Three okay. is not a generational jump thing. It's it's specifically a best three selling manga. Okay, okay, that's fair. So now that we've established that and we know that we're using this the wrong way, what are your three current favorite <laughs> shonen, shonen jump? Uh, for me, I'd probably put my Big Three as My Hero. I know everyone's gonna be mad about that. Demon Slayer, obviously, mm. absolute goaded series. And who would be the third? Uh, let's just say Attack of Titan, just to make people mad. Yeah, it's not even showing a jump, so go ahead. You've already made me kind of angry. Yeah. You're disobeying the yes. specific rule I just set up right now. That's the only prop. Fine, Josh has wasted his, his big three. What are you going for, Zed? Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, Jujutsu Kaisen and uh, Eva, probably. Uh, can you say that again? Because all of them cut out except for Jujutsu Kaisen, which I think is yeah. really funny. After Stone, Jujutsu <laughs> Kaisen, Himetsu no Yaiba. All right. Uh, isn't it funny that I think last week I was talking to you specific? Uh, no, last week, last episode, I was like, "Oh yeah, Jujutsu." Like, not a lot, the, the it's really sucks because when I was trying to read it, it's like one of those things that wasn't super heavily known and so there was a bunch of chapters missing and then i think i just woke up one day in twitter and you're just like caught up on jujutsu kaisen man what a rough beginning but i'm here now <laughs> i'm like what the fuck i finished that whole thing in like a day <laughs> yeah Jeez. it's a quick read um it's, it's it starts off rough but it gets really really good yeah 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 I, I i enjoy it again even though it is a rough beginning it is an extremely sick drop kick now you see what i mean right when he jumps up in that building and it doesn't they don't explain how the <laughs> that fucking... was a very good drop kick uh they, they, drop they, kick. you need to see this drop kick the the, the, the drop kick in jujutsu kaisen is worth it enough to kind of <laughs> you have to stick with it after that because trust me the drop kicks only get better from that point on my review of jujutsu kaisen the drop kicks only get better <laughs> Uh, for me, series. we've got you. <laughs> yes. Uh, for me, then, let's see. My big three are... 
Hmm. Is it too soon to put Spy X Family on the big three? <laughs> is that the Zach? X Family is no. not published in Weekly Shonen Jump. Damn it. Oh, that's yeah, right, because it's bi-weekly, right? Books. It was. It would be in my big three if it was, but it is not published in Weekly Shonen Jump. Okay, okay. That's fair. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Then I think I'll go with... The shit, though, isn't it? Oh, my God. It's so good. It is, is very good. The The future is in my hands now. Uh, it would be, let's see for me again. I, I'm really like holding this back, like a shitty politician, just like trying to go like, well, you see, um, huh. it's my hero. And then it is. I don't is... want to lose any voters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be don't... careful. Yeah, it's my hero. It's Jujutsu. And then it's, uh, the Haunted Spring Bath Yuna. That's, uh, that's my three. Those are my three big ones. Because Haunted is, I think, technically in the Japanese version of Weekly Shonen Jump strangely enough it gets a it's, lot of complaints is that the one with like the is that the one like the big titty ghost guy? yeah yeah the one from or with the, the oh ghost yeah you know you know the haunted hot oh, springs yeah. that's the one where it's that like i think a like horror. Series, right? yeah it's a harm for about 100 pages and then it turns into a battle shonen which all harms eventually take all harms <laughs> all harms go down two roads it's either Oh man, who, which girl am I gonna take? Or it's time to fucking punch somebody. <laughs> and Yuna decided to go the other way. <laughs> but those are my uh, personal big three. Sounds right. Uh, thank you for the question, Nighthawk. And now let's go into Shade, who asks, "Why is college the worst idea ever, but also the only way to move up in the world?" Uh, thank you, Shade. I'll say that's actually probably not true anymore. I mean. There's plenty of ways to get up in the world. With depends on which world are you actually entering. Actually, I should say, because it kind of like if you're an artist, um, there's plenty of ways for you to get up there without without having an art degree because your art speaks for yourself. You know what I mean? Uh, if you yeah. want to be, I guess, in theory, a YouTuber, yeah, you don't need to go to college to do that. You just need to be very charismatic or have very good friends, <laughs> like I do. <laughs> uh, but yeah, also college is a terrible idea because they fucking fuck you over in the money so much. I don't want to turn this into anti-college because I have to save that for one day with the Mew Mew Force where we fucking tear into our <laughs> college. Because um, it fucking sucked and it was all bad. But how do you guys feel about this? So I'll start with Josh. Well, I just wanted to point out, I agree with you about the art thing. Because there's a time where I was making good money just like drawing like, uh, what's it called? Like outlines for tattoos for people when I was in high school. I was actually making good money doing that for a good bit, and I just kind of just fell off of it. And then, like you said, YouTube, you can actually do that as well. Oh, you just have to work on it. For it is like college is just kind of like I don't know. It just seems more like a cheat code to get up there faster. But like, there's other ways you could do it. It just takes time. I'd say. Yeah. Because like I... you said, YouTube, you could get up with that. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely things you can go to college to learn about and do stuff, but I don't think it's the it's weird. College is weird. I wish college was better because in theory, I really like the idea of going somewhere to learn, but also the way it's currently implemented is not the best. And that's a lot of things to talk about, weirdly enough, on to be released. But let's go with Zen. What do you feel about the current state of college? <laughs> uh, I mean, it's. It's all about what you're trying to do, and there's not one universal answer. Mm. Well, right. It's just, just like your default of, like, because objectively it's beneficial to have it. But, like, then, then it's not going to do you any good anyway, so. Yeah. No, uh, it, I don't know. It's it's too complex of a question for to be released. This is yes. like we need a second show to answer this question. This, uh, we'll, this, that's we'll, supposed to be a serious show. We'll, we'll we'll save this for to be Neo, where we ask Neo the hard questions, and it's just me and Zen being very <laughs> dumb. No, I actually actually let's do to be Neo, where I ask Neo a bunch of really dumbass questions and see if he can uh, say it in a way that <laughs> that I can effectively learn what it's about. Uh, all right, let's go on to the next question. Thank you again, Shade, for the question. Uh, Annie asked, how much has Dragalia improved since release? Thoughts on the Masters revamp? I'll say Dragalia is um, 100 times better than the old game. Some people will be like, uh, you know how like some people in Dokkan be like, I wish it was back to the old days where things were tough? I never want to go back to the oh, old days no. of Dragalia. 
no and no part of me is ever like nostalgic to the way Jugalia used to be it's only like i can't believe how much we've gone it's so good <laughs> it's so good now that i never want to go back that's my current feelings about it anyway um i think that's kind of the most widely shared i don't think anyone has anything negative to say about the improvements Jugalia has done they might not still like they may not I think still it would be like very it. hard to be negative you would have to be like a super whale who's like mad that other people are getting things now. Yes. Uh, yeah. And I think there's, you know, you can still not like the way the game is built in general. I think that's fine. But I think in terms of actual improvements to the overall ecosystem and stuff, it's it's fantastic right now. It's like, it's uh, I'm like that guy in um, Spirited Away who's like constantly eating no face when no face is eating at the buffet that's how it feels like for me as a long time Jugalia player it's just like a never-ending buffet <laughs> um but okay this one is actually important for you zen as someone who's deep into masters how what do you feel about the idea of them revamping masters because i think even if you like the game it, it is would... necessary because that game fucking sucks mm. they have to like there's no way that they could keep this same terrible, boring cycle going for more than like a couple months. Yeah, uh, I think it's really not even just... Pokemon could carry that. No, I think I think that the this very like notion is why um, they're doing it because they realize po that Pokemon is not enough to carry them with the way that they are now. Maybe if it had literally released back in the day of Dokkan, like if they had released a month after Dokkan had been released, maybe. But also, we're not in those times anymore. So this is legitimately like a Dokkan tier content cycle. Like every event is exactly the same. Shittiest co-op system ever. Like for the reasons most people hate co-op, because everyone's like, "Oh, it's slow. You can't increase the speed." But like, fucking, just play the video game, you idiot. You're here to play a game. <laughs> you can't. They let you put on auto battle in wanting to get carried and they just hit auto battle and they're like all right well i hope these guys win for me impossible to like win half the time really hard events need a specific well-played strategy so if you get even one person that decides he wants you to try to carry him you just lose immediately hmm. it's fucking time yeah uh, I know for sure the I ended up not joining up in Masters because I had heard at least enough early rumblings to feel like. So here's the thing, especially after Dragalia, I had a kind of feeling that um, this was going to launch kind of busted just because I don't know. Maybe it's something in me where I'm just like all these Nintendo games when they started, they all started at the same point Dragalia did, which is this is our basic format. And also they've quickly realized this actual format isn't going to last us at all. And they've all had to come with that notion very quickly. And all these had to have started around the same time. So I kind of saw the writing on the wall for Masters. And I was like, maybe if I just wait. And I, because I know there's going to be some changes to it that's going to make it better. But I can't. Um, that was the basic risk I took. And it seemed like I was kind of right on that. I like don't feel any like joy over the idea that masters is bad because in general if someone's playing a gacha game i want them to feel like they're at least having fun with the gacha they've decided to stick with <laughs> it doesn't matter what you play it doesn't uh you should have a good game and as someone currently going through the longest reband in human fucking history with or collection 2 <laughs> let me tell you it sucks waiting for the changes <laughs> Man. i want it so bad That's, I, I don't even care uh... for it Gotcha yeah. game that writes a letter that says, "Hey, we know our shit fucking sucks. Sorry, <laughs> good. I promise. Like that's that doesn't happen very often. No. Is it uh, Masters made by? Yeah. Sorry, yep. say it again. You or both like, cut out when you said now? who made by who. <laughs> it, oh, uh, it? it is made by Dina, published by Nintendo. Like oh, the Pokemon oh. Company publishes it. Dina produces it. Okay. Yeah, because Dina is behind tactics, and they kind of have that uh, same, like, recycled content every month type. Right now, it's pretty much so. Uh, there's this one event called the Elite Event that comes for, like, the first two weeks of the month. Then there's, like, a dead period between there. Then there's, like, another event that gives it a free unit for the month, and it's that for And then there's banners in between and stuff. And, like, it's been that since the beginning of the game. Uh, so, like, I'm just sitting here hoping that they fix that soon, because I love the game. I want it to thrive, but... At the current rate it's in, I don't see it making it too far long. 
if it just keeps recycling like the same stuff every month. So I'm not sure if that's just like a Dina thing or because they also run Final Fantasy Record Keeper, which has been around for like 50 years. Yeah, since the beginning of the shit. Since the so like they, they have, have to know, know what they're doing. They're just not doing it right. Yeah. The planet will die and Record Keeper will still Very be. Very weird to me, but I, I don't know. that. We're getting, a, we're getting another letter from the Pokemon Masters producers tomorrow. Mm. I guess they're going to start talking about what they're going to change. Uh, my friend also told me that the, there was apparently hey. a, a bug in Masters. Speaking of like Dokkan tier level of um, content, they had a bug where people were able to pull that new unit that was just released before she was actually released. Yeah. Oh man, that doesn't even actually <laughs> cover. That doesn't even cover the bug. It how bad it actually was. Uh, um, that unit's banner doesn't even release until tomorrow. It it put uh, her in the banner that's up right now. With, like, a crazy high rate. Like, it was really easy to get her. She was at, like, three-star rates. Oh, man. Jeez. So, th- I was going to say, I thought this was similar to... Remember, they... when, re- <laughs> remember when Global Dokkan released Cooler early by accident? Where he was in a banner <laughs> before his banner was released? <laughs> was that what just Masters did? I think Mas- Masters... But then they also made her super easy to pull. So, a bunch of people pulled her down... And she's officially coming out tomorrow. Oh, if they're going to let them keep her or not. Oh, they have to let her keep uh, her. Their accounts and just ret- refund the gems or not. No matter what they do, they're fucked. Because if they let everyone who got her through the bug keep her, realize that they had that kind of advantage, is going to be pissed. But if you take her away from everybody that got her, they're going to be pissed. Mm. They should just, when you log in, they should just give everybody one copy. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of like what Blazing did with the 500 Pearls thing. Like, they had no solution to the problem, but just to give everyone 500 Pearls at that point. Because yeah. there's this login they messed up and, like, supposed to be, like, 500 uh, friend summon points or something like that. Or something, like, accidentally pushed it, like, Oh, I remember pearls. that. Yeah, when they were just yes. accidentally <laughs> gave them almost, yeah, like, 500 Pearls. Yeah. And... And they just said fuck it and gave it to everybody because there was no fix again. Yeah, it's a situation like that, I think. Yeah, they have they to not be the bad guy <laughs> is to just give one copy to everybody. Uh, another example of this because Ga- because when gotchas mess mess up this badly, this is like a stain that will forever stay with the game. Similar to like I guess three hundred stones. Josh, do you remember when um uh for the New Year's banner in Fate they made it so you could actually get do the GSSR multiple times? Oh yeah. <laughs> so, so first of all, just to say, this isn't as good as everyone expects because Fake Grand Order still has paid GSSRs, yeah, but also, but also the Japanese yeah. are fucking crazy when it comes to Fate. So they basically opened up a thing that could be infinitely give them uh, SSRs when the chances of you getting an SSR is like maybe one in thirty pulls or something. So people, they the whales just were like, "Fuck it, buy all the iTunes gift cards you can. Let's fucking go!" <laughs> and they just like raided the fucking GSSR. And once they yeah, finally, it was, <laughs> it was insane. <laughs> yeah. So they have like all these extremely powerful like uh, SSR units, and then Fate was just like. I guess keep them. <laughs> Congratulations, you fucking got us on this one. Uh, you had to technically pay for only... Yeah, go ahead. It's only $30 per SSR as well, compared to, like, people spend thousands of Saints Court to yeah. get nothing, and they're just basically getting $30 per SSR. It, guaranteed. It, it, yeah, it'd be like if Dokkan accidentally released a banner that was basically guaranteed LR every time you pulled on it. It's kind of like... Oh, this is insane. Why wouldn't you just keep pulling on this? Are you crazy? There's only a limited time. This would save you so much money yeah, in the long much. run. <laughs> so they went crazy on it. and when, Every time gotchas make mistakes like this, it makes me feel like I should always stay up for when a banner drops just in case they fuck it up. Oh, do you remember? Because it's always beneficial when they fuck it up. Yes. Yeah, so th- I, was, I was about to say 300 stones. Do you remember when they fucked up Tech Broly? And they released the wrong art on the banner. Oh, yeah. And they refunded everyone. Yes. That was insane. I think it was There's for... getting like 2,000 stones back? 
Yeah, I think it was like Tech, Vegeta Blue, and STR Dude, Rose. the stone refunds were always fucking crazy. That was the best. Yeah, that was great because I felt like a fucking idiot. Because I was like, I can't believe I pulled on Vegeta Blue. This was such a waste. I should have gone for it because I didn't but, get anything on Vegeta Blue. I should have pulled on Rose because then I would at least have my fucking stones back. Yo, imagine duping was around at that time. Just get like 2,000 uh, jagged stones in your gift box. Just, oh, like dupe it. no thank <laughs> you. Remember after that happened, people started hawking every banner checking the art for every character oh uh, yeah that's... just in case oh, yeah. there was something wrong so they could they could go in on it and get yeah. refunded global... there's that... some people that went back on old banners trying to point out those mistakes saying yeah. oh this isn't fair to i global. remember that what was that was the yeah. super saiyan 3 super goku saiyan banner 3. i think yeah yeah the super saiyan 3 agility goku's in his tr form of one of the banners apparently global players complaining about a banner that dropped like two years ago yeah, yeah it was so fun <laughs> where's our 300 <laughs> stones <laughs> where, uh, th that's one of the ones where it's just like it only hits japan and global be like they're gonna fix this when they release it in five months this isn't fucking fair <laughs> it's like well you should have played the canon version stop playing the big uh, one all right thank you for the question we could stop reminisce playing the dove yeah let me uh <laughs> so you're gonna need this picture for the next question here it is i'm gonna leave it in chat oh, and then boy. i'll ask the question the question comes from Positive Chan, who says, "What would you do if you see this guy jump at you while walking at night?" And I think it's uh, Spider-Man <laughs> in what looks like some kind of ruffian outfit with a bat with a spike in it. A ruffian outfit. He's just in a tracksuit. Are you sure? Because it looks like he looks like a, one of those newsy boys from Britainland. You know, like the the roughs, the rough and toughs. Like, like he, he has... looks like he could be in a musical for um <laughs> uh, for. Uh, for gangs or something. That's what it feels like to me. It looks like it has cans, like, taped to his arm. <laughs> yeah, his spider shooters look weird, his web shooters. Uh, I think yeah, I'd be okay, because I'm not... Die, because Spider-Man, so... I mean, I'd be fine, because I'm not a, I'm not a yeah. fucking evil person, so I know Spider-Man's not coming for me. He's coming from the guy right in front of me, <laughs> not me, myself. <laughs> you called him a, a guy who would be in a musical about gangs? Yeah, but that doesn't mean he's evil. Okay, Zenrod, I see your whiteness showing. Not all gang members are evil. <laughs> you, they are when you call them ruffians. Not all ruffians are bad. Look at Jotaro. It was objectively bad. Yeah, but like he also... Regular people term. But he punched for good. <laughs> Zen, he punched for good. <laughs> it was Eventually, right yeah. <laughs> Uh, Positive Chan also asked me, I can't wait for your permanent impression to say Aura and ending with Yo Yo does. Sorry, you're not going to get that. You're going to have to wait for that Muppet video with my brother coming soon. Happy you mispronounced <laughs> Yo Yo does, eh? I know. You know for a fact, if I can't even fucking say pe pecan, right? And I'm not going to say Yo Yo <laughs> does. Yo does. Wait. May as well just How say. How is it said? May as well just say good grief. You basically put A at the end of all of it. So Yo Yo does. <laughs> he was like Yo Yo does. Yar yar days, yeah. <laughs> yar days. Yar days. <laughs> yar yar days. All right. Uh, next question. This is another question one. People are sending in way more que uh, things with pictures now, and I have to actually edit these all in. <laughs> I don't know if the live stream's saying it, but it's fine. Uh, <laughs> what is this? It says me coming out of Area 51 knowing what Zero is fighting for, which I don't know what that <laughs> I don't know what it means either, but it's just funny to think about. <laughs> I mean, I want to know what Zero is fighting for, but I just don't. Well, you understand the what am I fighting for, Joe. Yeah, you yeah. have to know this. Okay. Everyone knows. I'm actually going to slice that in right now of Zero yelling out, what am I fighting for? <laughs> ah! No, this isn't happening. There's no reason for me to go on. What? What am I fighting for? <laughs> <laughs> Let me look at the timestamp so I remember where the fuck it is. Okay, okay, I see it. Um, this makes me feel good. That's that's the basicness of this one. It's really dumb, <laughs> and I'm glad people are just sending us weird pictures to react to now. That's what to be released has turned into. <laughs> to be react. Yes. Next question comes in from Manny, who says, "Can I get five bucks?" And the answer is a uh, hell no from each one of us. A chance. Yeah. Buddy. I'm, Sorry. I'm broke. 
Nope. <laughs> uh, this comes in from Marco, who asked, the PS5 got announced when this was, uh, uh, when I asked for questions on October 8th, just got announced, what games do you expect uh, to be the gems of the next generation? And we won't know, because it's too damn early to tell. And all the gems of just any... Just got gen- announced. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Yeah, it's going to be, <laughs> I don't know, the the Last of Us 27. That's right. Joel and Ethan are back. I think those are the main characters' names. <laughs> Finn, you think the 28? little girl's name is Ethan? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's like an E. Elephant. It's Ellie. There you go. Joel and Ellie. Ellie. Is that idea. <laughs> yeah. And let me tell you, these fungus zombies are still at it. Oh, are the old gang going to do anything? And then they jump into like their firebird and they go off and kill some zombies. They go really weird in the 27th. Um, I was about to call it Left 4 Dead. I don't remember the name of it anymore. The Last of Us. There you go. Uh, Last like of Us, Left 4 Dead, it's all the same shit anyway. <laughs> yeah, it's all zombies um, fucking up your day. It turns out we were the monsters all along. I don't know if you know that. We are we are the Walking Dead is the <laughs> is the, the main theme of the show. And the TV show. <laughs> and the video games. Uh, too early to tell. I don't know, maybe Final Fantasy 7 when it actually gets released on <laughs> PS5? The only Probably thing will get released on PS5. Yeah. Tekken 8 to be coming eventually. So I'm just hoping for that. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. Tekken X Street Fighter <laughs> will finally get released. It's been two console generations, oh, yeah. so why not? I uh, forgot they're working on that, not Tekken 8. Dang uh, it. They, <laughs> they, probably I, probably I, I, wait till the next generation. <laughs> actually, let me stop you right there. They're actually not working on Tekken X Street Fighter at all. They only have the models of four characters, and that's it. And then they had to oh, put it into no. hiatus. So don't expect Tekken X Street Fighter anytime. Maybe when you have a child, maybe the child when it gets into a teens will finally get to play Tekken X Street Fighter. We'll be on PlayStation Twenty Seven by the time yeah. that comes out. Can you imagine how much of a colossal failure failure Street Fighter X Tekken had to be for them to say, uh, "You know this contract we signed that said we can make a game. We're not. We're actually not. <laughs> We're not going to do that." <laughs> Yeah, I mean, Tekken 7 technically could be it because it had like a Kuma and stuff in it. So, I mean, yeah. there we go. <laughs> Eat your I, heart out, guys. <laughs> I would I would definitely be interested to see what they would do, but it seems like it's not likely for now. So, there you go. The answer is we're just going to wait. It just got announced, and no games that are currently known in production would be things that are gem-worthy to me, at least. Uh, so, we'll wait and see. And this is the final photo. You're going to need this. And this comes in from Bunny. Read Dr. Stone. <laughs> Who says, is this the best invention ever made? <laughs> and I don't know what the fuck this is, to be honest. I think it's a wheelchair with a... a self- it's a wheelchair with bicycle, bicycle pedals on it. <laughs> Wait, what? Why is it making me laugh? <laughs> Why am I laughing at it? It's so stupid. <laughs> it is extremely Wait, stupid. You're kind in of a fucked wheelchair up. your legs aren't supposed to work. Oh my god. <laughs> Just, oh, I, I thought, it. That's I thought yes, that's the joke. <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> I thought it was a wheelchair with a selfie stick on it. Like I thought, like in case you want, <laughs> like if you wanted to take some pictures, but you can't get the right di- the the right distance for you. That might be a wheelchair with a selfie stick at crotch level. Yeah, yeah just take nudes. Yeah. Hey, when you're in a wheelchair, want to take nudes? Is this just the wheelchair you need? <laughs> also, I'm just gonna say right now, if we have any people with wheelchair accessibility, like what that watch to be released, I'm just gonna say sorry. Oh, no. I'm horribly we don't sorry. we don't mean Please to don't we don't mean to insult <laughs> your uh, your unfortunate situation. This is just literally what was presented. <laughs> this is the joke. That's horrible. Yeah, I probably have more people in wheelchairs listening to me than actual ladies. Now that I think about it, like the odds are. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Has that percentage actually gone up? For still the at one percent, baby. <laughs> Over a thousand. And still at one percent. Got one female viewer. And I'm at three percent, and I also have like zero point one percent, sixty five and up. So I have some boomers watching Attack of Titan. Yeah, I have. Videos. I have like two boomers that watch JoJo on my channel. <laughs> Why the fuck do you have two percent more ladies than me? What the boomers. fuck? I uh, you you. I know the things you talk about. How do you have more Attack ladies? Attack on Titan is sexier than Dragalia, I guess. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't know. People, it's very weird. I have like a bunch of underage like fans tell me they beat off to my voice and stuff, and it makes me very uncomfortable. So I don't know. And if that's just there for there's the, voice the demonetization. Much. And thank you very much. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> beep it all out. <laughs> I ain't beeping any of that out. Um, 
That's weird. It's funny that you say that yeah. your, your fans talk to you. I think I have, the, you know, I have people in my comments, but they're just like me. They kind of just prefer to just watch and not talk. Yeah, I'm, so I'm, I'm gonna... very interactive with my fan base. <laughs> it gets very awkward sometimes, though. I don't think I have a fan base, but the people who leave stuff in my videos, I talk to them and I enjoy my time talking to them. Uh <laughs> How about you, Zen? How do you feel about your fan base? The coin pool gang, as you call them. I, I wouldn't even say I have a fan base. I just have people that like talking to me about games. That's fair. Talk we're both in the games. same we're both in the same mindset, I think. Is that we don't understand the concept of us having fans. Well, I just don't know <laughs> what else to call them. <laughs> so I just say fans. That's fair. I mean, there's obviously people who like us. That's why uh, you know what's funny? After I said, hey, fuckers, the free ride is over, Tubi release got the most likes it's ever received. Oh, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Shout out to my buddy Thanos that watches the videos, yeah, by the he, way. I like Thanos. <laughs> I've He's seen a, his comments on the video. I see him leaving comments all the time, even though I think he does not fully understand what I play. I appreciate the sport. <laughs> and Daddy finally, Ignit told him <laughs> to come to the video. Yeah. Okay, we're here at the end. So, Zen, if there's any stream questions, I should have technically announced that before the last question. But if anyone on stream has a question, we will gladly answer it now. Now that they, if they've waited this long to listen to all this right, shit all show. All right, stream, you have, you have three minutes to ask a question or forever hold your peace if you want it answered live. <laughs> exactly, because eventually I have to get ready to go to the movies. Last with comment friend. in chat was someone correcting you that the little girl's name was not Ethan. All right, first of all, her <laughs> name is Ethan now. The little the in my storyline of this actually the, by the time they hit Last of Us twenty seven, it will be revealed that there is actually another Ellie named Ethan, and that was her true name all along, and that they everyone's just been pronouncing Ellie wrong. <laughs> actually, the, the, it turns out that people don't know in the post apocalyptic world don't know how to say Ellie uh, Ethan anymore. They just think it's it's said like Ellie. All right. Take... Hey, we got a couple questions. So right. Arma Prime is first, and he says, "Yo, what are your thoughts on the Pitter Patter Pop anniversary?" It's slow, but I think it's all right so far. I guess it's weird. There's no new unit, which makes yeah, it... it's really slow. They they need to do some more shit. Yes, I agree. That's, yeah, that's I my thought on it. Talk about that as much lately. It's mainly because it's just really slow. Yeah, the the anniversary is just like hmm. yeah. They just so it's recently kind of like tactics right now, and yeah. one banner. And that's like it so far. They announced Fortaru, 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 the the super good Jotaro that everyone should have. If they want, yeah, to be if you don't pull him now, just you're you're just out of luck. Like yeah. you gotta just pull him already. So that means that, that after his banner, they're gonna actually release the new unit. Because <laughs> you don't throw out bait like that unless you got something big in the horizon right after. Yeah, that's definitely bait. That's gigantic, exactly. juicy bait. Tactics did that recently as well. They released a, a birthday banner for Erwin, which they've never released the birthday banner ever in like the past six months. And they released him, and they put the second best unit in the game, being the Red Erwin, on that banner four days before the Halloween banners and this uh, half year anniversary start. <laughs> they just <laughs> slap him out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still kind of pissed it off is. that uh, Dragalia, in bet before as I wait for Mega Man, the thing that's in between it is fucking Halloween banner, which is the most cruel thing they could release. <laughs> Uh, but there you go. I think it's just kind of slow. I, you know, I'm not super. Next one, the next one is an ignorant specific question, and it said, "Why did you gate Mikasa?" What mm -hmm. does that mean? It says ignorant. Why Wait, did what? you gate Mikasa? Why did I gate her? Why did you gate her? Why did you gate her house? Wait, what? 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 Gate? What are you talking about? Like G A T E gate? I, I guess he meant. I guess yeah. he meant to say hate. I guess he meant to say hate. Why do you it's, hate? It says gate. Okay, he corrected it to hate. It, it was hate. Okay, well, I hate her because she's cute in like the pre time skip, okay? But her personality is literally just saying error in 20 times, and it aggravates the ever loving crap out of me. Right. I, just, I just can't stand it. I mean, she's that's got fair. Kagome syndrome. You know, yeah, she... <laughs> that is Kagome syndrome, <laughs> where all, you, all your dialogue is. 100% is Kagome syndrome. Like, every time she's on the screen, she's screaming, Aaron! And it's really annoying. It's like so... that's fair. Please, I thought. Let's see. Like the next one, one is 
Zen is your name is your name pronounced Zenrado or Zenrot? It's pronounced Zenrado. It's pronounced exactly like his Japanese name. So if you ever see Vegeta pronounced Kakarado, it's pronounced exactly like that. I call him Zenrot. Uh, and then all right, that's how I know him. Well, you can also just call me Zenrot because that's what it used to be, or just Zen. Everybody just calls me Zen now because it's too difficult to say more letters than three. Just don't call you late for dinner. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So the next one says, who is your favorite JoJo character? Uh, Giovanni. I, because it's his birthday and my answer is constantly changing, I'm going to go with uh, Mr. Speedwagon. I'm going to go with him. On, in honor that again, of his birthday. you cut out. Mr. Speedwagon. REO Speedwagon. Speedwagon. Every, okay, that's every, fair. Everyone's favorite copyright infringing name. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Robert E.O. Speedwagon. That's fair enough. Yeah. Josh, do you even know JoJo characters? Yeah, I like Giovanni. I remember uh, when Ore Collectors I actually hated him for some reason. Giovanni? I, do you mean the bad like, guy from Team my... Rocket? Or do you mean Giorno? <laughs> Giorno, yes! I was thinking of his last name. I don't know why. How his last name like is that. also not Giovanni. How much better but would Part 5 be? Or how much better would Giorno, Pokemon be Gio for... if Gio Gio was Giovanni? in Pokemon? Giovanna with A's. Giorno oh, Giovanna. Well, you know, it's in fuck you. I was close. I was off by one letter. What if Gio was the eighth gym leader in Pokemon? And every <laughs> if time he you... was the last gym leader of Viridian City, and if instead you... of Mewtwo in that armor, it was just Gold Experience Requiem. But he's using it on his <laughs> Kangaskhan, so it's Gold Experience Kangaskhan. That'd be kind of sick. We need that. And then, <laughs> I like, need that in my life. he uses Mega Punch and it blasts him into seven different lifetimes. Is how hard he's punching him. <laughs> it's a seven page mega punch it's you into a death loop forever you never finish blacking out <laughs> then after 20 you just constantly get different blacked out screens it just keeps saying you fainted you fainted you fainted you fainted you whited out you... <laughs> you're out of usable pokemon you fainted <laughs> this would all be very good oh i need that <laughs> now someone make that yes. <laughs> someone make that. To make this. please <laughs> make that Please, for love. Uh, and mine, uh, in the anime, it's Bruno, and in the manga, it's Johnny, because Johnny does not exist in the anime yet. Not yet. He's also very good. Do we got another question? I think this will have to be the last one, because I need to start getting ready. So and The last one is for Pitter Patter Pop players, and it is, who pulled voiced Abakio or voiced Narancha? I didn't even try and look at that. I didn't even look at the banner, to be honest. <laughs> I got Narancha, but I didn't get Abakio. I did not get Nacho, and I did not get Abo, or whatever the fuck their <laughs> names are. Um, no offense, again, for everyone who likes Part 5, including Zen. They're just not my cup of tea. So I, I'm not going to be pulling for them. Especially when I know for a fact there's something coming later. I'm not going to spend it on fucking Aerosmith. And not if, your cup of tea. Your cup of tea sucks. Yes. It's probably like unsweet tea. Your, everyone else's tea I look at, and I'm like, how can you drink this garbage? And then they sip it, and they go, mmm, tasty, so good. And they lick, <laughs> they lick the tea inside, and they go, oh, I need more. And then they do a weird fucking dance, and they leave me be. And yeah, go, that's me, basically. Yes. <laughs> with, with Vento Oreo, that's pretty much me. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good sign to end it. All right, everyone. Thank you, thank you for our special guest. Uh, special guest. I just can't talk. Special guest, Josh. <laughs> For joining us today, it's been a it's been a fun time. Then thank you for coming in, and of course, mm -hmm. uh, thank you for your support, specifically for my channel and everything else, and also Zen. I think you support Zen in some way. I have to assume yeah. <laughs> you can't support me <laughs> without supporting Zen. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, I, I think it's me and me. I decided to help out. <laughs> do you, uh, now that we're going to end the show, do you want to do the special catchphrase? Do you want to say along with Zen, "That's no good"? After I say the thing, I have to. Like Sonic from the old Saturday morning cartoon. That's no good. Yeah, just wait, wait yeah, for me to say. To say it like a shitty asshole. That's no That's good. That's no good. Yeah. So wait. For, yeah. Okay, I'll say my thing, and then both of you say it at the same time. So get ready. Okay. Um, okay, kids. Remember, don't play Dokkan because if you do play Dokkan, you go to hell before you die. That's no That's good. good. <laughs> That's good enough with the internet. <laughs> That's as close as we're gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everyone.